Lloyd Garthus of Admiral Saskatchewan has many years of first-hand farming experience. But ever since he retired from farming, he has been coming up with inventions to help farmers, including Dave DeMars, who farms near Webb. Right now they're filling a grain bag with a flexible spout invented by Garthus, which is about 30 feet long. He built his first spout back when smaller augers were a lot more common than they are now. So I made a, a seven inch, I think it was, the very first one. Got a piece of plastic and, and made one up and then neighbors and friends wanted one. And at, this would be back in probably 94 when a 10 inch auger was absolutely huge. It was first on the market and there wasn't anybody that was making a downspout for a 10 inch. So I stepped up and made a, a 10 inch downspout. As auger diameter has increased over the years, Garthus has figured out how he can fit the spout to almost any sized auger. And then just with a joiner strip in the middle, that way I can make <coughs> adapters to fit. This is a 10 inch, I can go right down to an 8, 10, 12, 13, and like I say, I have to find out the 16 inch diameter so I can make an adapter piece for the top of it. One of the most significant benefits of using this flexible spout is that it allows farmers like DeMars to fill his grain bag without needing to constantly reposition the tractor and auger. Four sections of four foot sliding um, to give it some lateral strength and 22 buckets to give it some flexible strength and it, it works just like a pendulum. You're, um, you go to the back, your grain cart moves or your bagger moves ahead and goes to the front. So you get 24 to 26. If you tweak it real good, you can get 28 feet of travel, which is, you know, 12, 1400 bushels dumped at once. The spout can stretch to over 30 feet on the auger, but in the cellophane shipping wrapper, it's only 13 feet long. It's made of a specialty material called HMVW plastic. It's twice as thin, but twice as as tough as just regular polypropylene. Um, less weight, the whole thing is only 80 pounds. If it was the quarter inch poly throughout, it would be close to 300 pounds and it's, you're gonna get hard and heavy on the end of your auger. So we got them to make some <coughs> special product for us and it's um, our prototype that we built last year has 150,000 bushels of grain through it and still going strong. Garthus says if you remember to have the spout hanging steep enough to allow for proper grain flow, it should easily keep up with most of today's large capacity augers. As long as you keep, you know, 45 degree angle, you don't want to lay it over and, you know, grain runs, but it's not like water. So you have to have a fairly steep angle to keep the grain flowing. And, it, you know, it'll keep up to a 12 inch the, the prototype was emptying out of a 12 inch auger last year, so it's, you've got a fair bit of grain in that tube. For some farmers, it's possible that this flexible spout could take the place of buying a grain cart, especially if they want to set up grain bags near the yard for security reasons. More and more trucks are being used as uh, people are deciding to bring them home to their home yard kind of deal. And, so it's, it saves time and money and, and grain carts aren't cheap and usually you've got the tandems or semis anyway and you've got the huge augers for reaching the, the um, hopper bottom bins. So you add a, a $2,000 spout to the mix and you've, got, you've saved yourself $100,000 kind of deal. The spout is held together with four 10,000 pound flexible straps. So Garthus figures a grain auger will bend before his spout breaks. He says it's a good fit for a variety of different applications. From mix mills to you know, uh, air seeders, whatever people want, as long as I get the, the bottom circumference and the top circumference and the length you want each bucket to be, I can make you any, any size you want kind of deal. Garthus encourages farmers to use the bungee cords on the spout to maximize the flexibility and ease of movement. As he mentioned earlier, they sell for $2,000 each. They are available directly through Garthus, but he has also been looking for dealers.